Hey, what's up, you guys? So, first off, I know this video isn't going up as early as my other videos this week. That's because I'm filming this the day of. <laughs> Specifically at, like, 3.30, like, in the afternoon. I've been just very busy this week, and especially today. Like, I just have not had time to do anything at all. <laughs> so, today, I'm going to clear to some of CDs. So, I have my CDs next to me. And we're just going to go through them. Yeah. So, starting off. Now, let me just say, I'm probably going to be keeping most of these as a reference for songs for Throwback Thursday. So, like, say it's, like, a soundtrack from, like, I don't know, a movie from a long time ago. I'm probably going to keep it, even though I might not necessarily listen to it 24-7, but just so that I have the song to listen to if I want to try to learn it for a throwback Thursday. So, yeah, the end. All right, so, starting off. These are relatively organized, so. Hopefully this will be in a somewhat logical order. High School Musical. I'm going to keep this because this definitely has a lot of throwback songs. This was, like, one of my favorite movies when I was younger, like, when it first came out. I love this. And then I have... Soundtrack to High School Musical 2. I think my favorite out of all the High School Musicals was the second one. And then High School Musical 3. I'm going to keep this too. And then High School Musical The Concert. And then, hold on. One of these had like this random bonus track. Oh yeah. Can't take my eyes off of you. I know you feel the same too. I don't know. I like, I just remember there was like this random bonus track and I was like, what the heck, where did this come from? I don't know, I'm keeping all those. And then, here we get into some more throwback stuff. Hannah Montana. You know, I'm not really a fan of who Miley Cyrus is now, but like, these were some really good songs. Like, they were very catchy, like, this is my life, this is all I listen to. Well, and High School Musical. High School Musical and Hannah Montana, that was, like, what I listened to when I was, like, 10 to 12. Like, that was my whole life, so I'm gonna keep that. Hannah Montana 2, I'm gonna keep that. Hannah Montana 3, I'm gonna keep that. There's, like, I should, like, look through a bunch of these songs and pick some more for Throwback Thursday, because there's a lot of good ones. Hannah Montana Forever, I'm gonna keep that. Hannah Montana, the movie. <laughs> you thought we were done, but nope. Miley Cyrus. I actually, I should do one of these, because these are, like, specifically Miley Cyrus, not Hannah Montana. And there were some really good songs on here, like Breakout, Seven Things, Wake Up America. I love that song. So I'm going to keep that. All right, now we have Taylor Swift. I still listen to Taylor Swift. I'm a fan of more of her earlier things, so since this is more early, I'm going to keep that. Taylor Swift Red, I like this one too, so I'm going to keep that. And then, ooh, Camp Rock. This is another one that I'm debating for doing a Throwback Thursday. I just have to figure out which one I want to do. I'm thinking of doing Play My Music, Gotta Find You, Who Will I Be, This Is Me, Maybe something else. I don't know. There's a lot of good songs on this, too. I loved Camp Rock. I'm not so crazy about the second Camp Rock, but I like the first one. Ooh! The Cheetah Girls. Who remembers the Cheetah Girls movies? I'm gonna keep this, too. I remember there was one in particular. Hold on. I would have to listen to them again. Or... I thought I had another one. But I guess not. Oh, there it is. Duh. Right next to it. Oh, this one This one was more of my favorite. I knew more of these. Um, I remember I liked Strut. <laughs> I don't know. That one was just funny. Why Wait? A la Nani Tanana. That one was such a good one, too. Oh, and then It's Over. I don't know. 
Um, I feel like that's how it goes. Um, I'm gonna keep that too. I should do one of these for a Throwback Thursday, Cheetah Girls. Most of these CDs are like older ones because like. I don't know, the, like, iTunes wasn't as, like, common as it is today. Like, now if I want a song, it's like, oh, okay, just buy it on iTunes. Don't buy the CD, buy it on iTunes. So, most of these are, like, old ones, which is why I want to keep them. Because, I don't know, how else am I going to have them? Like, and it's a good source for my Throwback Thursday learning. I don't know. iCarly, again, another favorite. I actually covered Leave It On Me. There was another one that I wanted to cover. I don't know. I'll look at it later. I'm gonna keep that. And then, oh my gosh, alright. I'm, I'm like, I've rediscovered Drake Bell, and like, I think he's adorable. And I've been listening to some of his older stuff. Like, this is really old. I think this might have been my first CD ever. I don't remember. But I remember this was like one of my first CDs ever. And I was like so excited. It had Drake on it. And I was just like, yay. So I'm gonna keep this. I've been listening to this a lot. I put this into iTunes so I could put it on my phone and listen to it. And like, Oh, it's just Drake Bell. He's, like, adorable. And then, we have R5, because I love R5. They're on my shirt today. So, of course, I'm going to keep them. R5, going to keep them, obviously. And then, second favorite band, McFly. I specifically purchased this CD because they did not sell the song Love is Easy on iTunes. Like, they only sold it in, like, Britain or whatever, because, like, that's where they're from or whatever. So, I specifically purchased this CD from Amazon so I could get this one song. And then, I've just been listening to the rest of the songs. Because I think this is, like, yeah, the best of McFly. So, it's, like, some of the best songs. Then, so, since I just had this, I just started listening to it. And, like, now I've fallen in love with more of their songs. And just, oh, I love their stuff because it's complicated and it's hard. And I love hard. Next. This is also another band that I've rediscovered that I'm, like falling back into the Jonas Brothers like my favorite was always Joe and I really liked his hair like do you guys remember when that show Jonas came out like I liked his hair when it was like that like and in Camp Rock like I'm not a fan of it being short I don't know I just thought it was cool like I like that whole phase of hair when it was like I don't know just longer like kind of like the Justin Bieber hair phase of just hair because everybody's hair was just longer i don't know i liked it so i'm gonna keep them oh i love um love bug from this i love that and then ah, this one's stuck jonas brothers i think this is like their first one. Oh, there's so many good ones on here there's Ooh, good night and goodbye. Sang part of Still in Love with You in one of my other Declare Decembers. Australia. probably be getting rid of because like this was like my like they're organized and like the top would be what i'd most listen to middle like probably not and i don't have a bottom because i don't have a lot of cds so we have cartoons for kids this would like to focus on this maybe 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 hello there we go um I don't know, I just remember getting this, like, a while ago. I think I was on vacation, actually. And then we have Berry Chris Moose by the same person. As you can see, it's kind of the same art-type style, I guess. I don't know, but I don't listen to these. So, those two. 
else don't really listen to these. I don't think they even do these anymore anyway. I used to be into American Girls when I was little. And they used to do shows in New York City. And, like, these were, like, the soundtracks from the shows. But, obviously, I don't listen to these. So, I'm going to get rid of them. Focus on my face. Stop overexposing me, camera. Come on, camera. Okay. Then, we have Disney Karaoke. Um, well, I don't really sing karaoke, and I don't really know any of these songs. Most of these songs are from, like, Disney princess movies, and I was never into princesses. Like, I was into Lion King. <laughs> um, Disney Wishes. Ooh, this has some good songs in it, so I'm gonna keep this. I'm getting rid of this. Did I say that? Um, Disney Mania 5. Ooh, this had some good covers of, on it. Because, like, they got celebrities, well, Disney celebrities, to do covers of stuff. I remember they did, like, um, what's it called? Like, a remix of a bunch of songs. They were very catchy. So, I'm going to keep this. Then we have Apu Christmas. Don't listen to this, so I'm going to get rid of that. This one, I think, is my mom's, <laughs> but it's Michael Buble. So, I'm going to actually give this back to her because this is hers so that's a separate pile faith for a lifetime hymns of extraordinary faith i don't listen to this either i think this is my mom's also so i'm going to give that back to her too then we have spongebob i have to keep spongebob spongebob was also like my whole childhood like yes um Jamie Gray. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that. There's like four songs on here, but they're catchy. And last but not least, The Nutcracker. I don't really listen to this, but I have to keep this because this was like, I think this was from like one of the first times I ever went to see The Nutcracker. So I'm gonna keep that. So, yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys approve of my declutteriness. I know I kept a lot, but. I mean, I don't have that many CDs. You should see the collection of CDs my dad has. He has a lot of CDs. All right, so let's do shout-out slash what's the next day. All right, the next day whoa, is... Okay, so the next day is technically empty food containers. But since I got rid of, like, my whole food shelf, like, you guys will see when I do my room tour. Like, this is why I haven't been showing anything like in my room really that much because I want to save it for the room tour I got rid of my whole like food area so like that doesn't count so skipping that because I don't have that anymore um papers and old school stuff that should be easy because I'm just gonna go through my binders and be like yep getting rid of this because I hate school so much. So that's for the next day. And then there's only one more day after that. And then after that, then it's a room tour. So you can all look forward to that. Also, um, I don't know if I've mentioned this. But I'm going to be trying to mention what videos are coming next. In like, I don't know, in life. If you follow me on Snapchat, I always, like, usually announce, like, what's coming and, like, my upload schedule and whatever. So, if you don't follow me, follow me at Kelly's Cats 22 on Snapchat. And tomorrow's video will be a vlog. And since a lot of you said you like longer videos, I think it's about 18 minutes. I'm not sure. But, basically, there's a lot of unboxing for, like, one was for school. One was for, or two were for makeup i think and then there's some random shenanigans thrown in there's part of an original song there's me jumping in the snow in a swimsuit you know just crazy meanness so yeah that's tomorrow so shout outs so also i would like to just throw out there um i like the whole shout out thing because then i feel like you guys get involved so after I do, like, after this is over, I'm going to be continuing the shout-out thing, but only in my decluttering videos. So, like, this is the plan. Finish Declutter in December, room tour, and then 
do just random decluttering of like my whole entire bedroom <laughs> because this is basically like the idea of it my friend christine is like the one who organized this whole thing and i feel like once she watches my room tour then she'll like get a better understanding of like what i have what i need to declutter so that's why room tour then just random decluttering so in the random decluttering videos I'm going to be doing shout outs in those two. So that's where the shout outs will be. So that's continuing, but only in those videos, not my other random videos. Because I don't film like, okay, today I filmed this video. So this one's going up next. Tomorrow I'm filming this one, then that one's going up. It's like, no, I film random stuff at random times. I don't put them up in the order that I film. So that wouldn't really work. But with my decluttering, I film like, one then I post it. I don't film a bunch then pick one randomly to post and post them out of order. So it can work for decluttering. So yeah. So shout outs. Is it annoying you guys that this is like in frame? I can't really move it because I have a very messy desk. So hopefully that's a little better though. Alright. I felt like it was a long time ago that I posted a declutter December. But it says like about a week ago. It's not a long time. All right, so today's shout out is going to my friend in Australia. Her name is Sarah. And my last decluttering video was on DVDs. And she posted two comments. And one was, yes, SpongeBob. And then Austin and Allie. And then like the crying emoji faces because Austin and Allie's over. I don't know. So you would like a chance at a shout out in the next video make sure to comment down below and you might get picked so if you enjoyed my decluttering of all these cds make sure to leave me a big thumbs up and then also comment down below like anything do you listen to any of these did you when they came out do you like listening to old songs and make sure to subscribe down below if you're not already to follow me on any of my crazies and i'll see you guys Everybody's being. Bye! <laughs>